ProLin PLN. Hello, my name is Brandon Carter. I'm an application engineer with ProLin PLN. In this SnackBite video, we're going to take a look at NX surfacing. For this particular example, we're going to focus on the XForm command. If you notice the geometry I have on the screen, it's just a cylindrical face. This particular cylindrical face comes from imported geometry. Notice it doesn't have any parameters. This would be geometry maybe imported from STEP, IGES, Parasolid, or another CAD system. The XForm command can be ran on both imported geometry as well as native geometry. If I come in and run the XForm command, all I'm going to do is tag the surface I want to edit. Notice it's part of the edit surface group. By selecting the geometry, it's going to come up and automatically put poles and basically different sections and guides for me to manipulate this surface. Underneath the method, you'll see that I can move it along a different vector, rotate along a different vector, move normal to itself, scale it, and move within a plane. If I come over here and window select all these poles for this first section, I'm able to move this just straight up in a particular vector very quickly. If I increase the V for the degree, notice I get another section, which I can window select and move that as well. By grabbing normal, I quickly change the shape of this surface by pulling it in or outwards and changing uh, the complexity of the surface. If I come down here and do the same thing, I can give myself a little more shape at the bottom, truly starting to get this vase shape. Maybe I need to add some more artistic features. I can come through here and deselect every other pull. What this is going to do is allow me to push and pull this in normal and give the vase the artistic shape that I need. I'm still on normal. If I start to push that in, notice that gives that those ridges. Maybe finally I want to rotate this about the Z direction and just give it a little bit of a twist shape. And, and just by starting with a simple cylinder, we can now get the shape that we need. To finish this off, we want to go ahead and patch the bottom. I'm just going to use the insided surface. The insided surface is a nice tool too because I have built-in controls to give me how flat that surface needs to be. And then finally we'll wrap it up with a face blend between my X-form surface and my bottom insided patch. Now right now we have a continuous surface. To make that a solid, we'll just go ahead and give it the material thickness we need. And there we have our vase shape. To really see how this looks, we could just turn on the realistic rendering. And I can come over here to my library, pull in a, a nice glass material for the rendering. Also come over here and grab a particular scene, maybe an indoor scene, um, something like a granite counter, uh, maybe even this lounge. So in this video, you can see how we took a simple cylindrical face, even from imported geometry, and with the help of XForm, we were able to create our complex face shape in just a couple of minutes. ProLin PLN.